cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Now I'm going to separate the cards into three piles, each with three cards. Now this is pile one. The bottom card is Jack of Diamonds. The top card is the Jack of Diamonds, and the middle card is the Jack of Diamonds. The second pile, we have the King of Spades in the bottom, the King of Spades on the top, and the King of Spades in the middle. Third pile, we have the Two of Spades on the bottom, Two of Spades on the top, and Two of Spades in the middle. Now, just in case you've got um, what cards are in the piles, We've got Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, King of Spades, King of Spades, King of Spades, Two of Spades, Two of Spades, Two of Spades. Now I'm going to turn the top card of each part over just so you cannot forget that all these are the Jack of Diamonds, all these are the Jack King of um, Spades, and all these are the Two of Spades. Now these are the leaders of the remainder of two cards in each pile. Now if I move the leaders around, their followers would stay in one position. But we're going to try some magic. If I move these cards around, uh, let's uh, move those over there, that over here, and that over there. So far we've only moved the leaders, and the followers have stayed. But if we get the leader and wave it over the followers. The followers would follow the leader just like so. You might not have seen it happen. Did you see it? Let me just show you. The two of spades, they have all followed the leader. Jack of diamonds, they have all followed the leader. King of spades. They have all followed the leader. But let's just really see if the followers have followed their leader. Turn these cards over. They have all followed their leader. That suits you by Steve Bates.